Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're here with Liam Steiner from Company Partners in Cape Town. These guys managed to build a successful business from one, which is Liam, to a team over 30 or 40 and in the middle of a recession. That's incredible over a period of six and a half years. So I want to encourage you that it's possible, but it's going to take a lot of patience, a lot of hard work, blood, sweat and tears. So Liam, in a nutshell, uh, from your side, What's your keys to success? There's, there's a massive variety of, of things that contributes to making a business successful. And uh, you can read hundreds of different business books and they will all tell you some of the same stuff and some completely different stuff. I think it really has to, it really different from person to person. Um, and some people just get luckier than others. That's what it comes down to. Uh, every business definitely has, has luck involved as well. Um, but if, it, if I can sum it up into three areas that has stood the test of time for us, uh, number one would be faith. Uh, we've, we've been, we're very active people in terms of problem solving. So as soon as we started the company, we're like, okay, how can we solve this? How can we hustle? How can we make this work and that work? How can we hire people? And, and as soon as we had that, we just relied on ourselves for that, it was a problem. Um, and I'm a Christian and for me it was always been a challenge to actually then surrender certain stuff to God and not try to fix it now now myself so so that was that's been a very big challenge but every time we've, we've said hey um, got on our knees and said God please show us lead us tell us where we're going wrong or where we're going right uh, faith has played the biggest role in, in building this company mm. um, second I would say keeping the focus. Um, the previous company that we had that failed, my biggest takeaway was we lost focus. Even though there was other, you can give, you know, um, you can blame a lot of people in a process like that normally, and we could. But at the end of the day, the biggest contributing factor of failure was we lost focus. We got cocky and overconfident, uh, thinking that if you had a bit of success here, you can just duplicate it quick, 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 quick with a lot of other stuff. It doesn't work like that. Uh, it's a slow, gradual process in 99.999% of all business cases. Sure, sure, sure. Very companies. slow process. Very slow process and a lot of mistakes along the way and endure those, through those um, failures you need to actually also endure. So the only way we could do that as company partners is keep that focus. At the beginning we said we need to figure out the why, is, the, the why of our company is entrepreneurs are having a hard time starting up because there's a lot of and advice they don't know, paperwork, all that type of issues, and we want to solve that. So that was our focus at the beginning, that is still our focus. The roads towards where we are now, we never even knew about half the services we are doing now at the beginning, so that doesn't mean the why stays the same, but the how changes all the time. Um, but yeah, we, need, we couldn't now just starting, started selling car insurance and stuff. It's completely away from the focus that we have. So focus is number two. And the third one, definitely team. Um, it's one of the areas that you get discouraged the most if you start a, you invest time into people and you trust in people and they drop you. And, they, and that will happen. Any, any business person who's got more than himself or herself in a business will tell you, people will drop you. But the mentality of always giving somebody the benefit of the doubt and investing in them to make them better leaders, help them with systems, coach them, and, and trusting them to do their work and not micromanage them. That is worth it over, you know, all over. We've probably, there's probably 40, 50 people that have left this company, but there's 40, 50 that are here and are amazing. From them, we've got about 10 leaders that are awesome, salt of the earth. You can trust them to go to army, to go into battle with you, they'll have your back. Nice. Um, so, so it's worth it investing into people and building an amazing team. Mm -hmm. And the most beautiful thing that you see coming from that is you end up with people that are so much better in what they do than what you would have been. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're a single businessman and you were like, girl, I can do sales. I can do this, man. I can cover this. But you, when you start investing in people and they do that every day and that's all they do and that's all they focus on, it is awesome to see after a year or two to see how they operate the system and call and make sales and go crazy. And you look at yourself and you're like, damn, that guy is 
so much better than I yeah, yeah. <laughs> would ever I understand be. Understand exactly what you mean. So it's 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 one of the most encouraging parts of, of building a team also. So yeah, that's my three takeaways: faith and focus and team. Love it. Yeah. Very practical. Very very relevant. And then lastly, from your side, a lot of people struggle to build a business when it comes to freelancing, self-employment versus going on to building a business. Yeah. What would your advice be to those entrepreneurs? Yeah, building a company is, if you want to, for, yeah, for everybody watching this video, if you want to have a good materials on this i would say emith is probably one of the best yes. materials and uh, the book scrum if you just google scrum the book emith the book you'll, you'll get the information so um, basically you need to figure out the timing of what is right for when by every week r assessing where you're at so you've got these goals i want in this year i want to grow this big one of you know four people doing these roles and whatnot but the starting point is to say, I do everything, so I understand everything. Then I ask myself, what is the main thing that actually eats up my time that I can either outsource or employ somebody for? If it's going well, lacquer, and you, you can employ somebody for an affordable price, great. Get, get a, start building your team. But otherwise, if it's something like you're struggling with IT or how to do your website, just outsource it, man. It's cheap. Mm -hmm. It's one shot you get a lot of freelancing people that also have their businesses outsource it keep your business lean um, and start building like that in terms of just saying what is the stuff i'm not expert and not an expert in and currently distracting me and wasting my time um, so when we started biggest thing that got me down was the admin i the admin broke me and when i had to develop our website and build our sales and all that stuff the, when it hit three o'clock in the afternoon i was tired because i sat with a bit of admin that doesn't energize me so i had to say first thing to cut how do i cut this you know and and then it depends on the affordability you can't always just hire people to do everything but outsourcing there's people looking for part-time jobs there's family and friends there's, there's a lot of depending on your business there would be a lot of directions to just say start getting stuff off my plate so i can do what i'm good at and as soon as you start doing that then suddenly you've got more work for this person and more and you need another team member mm. and, and, and suddenly piece by piece it grows but 40 people for us did literally happen one by one by one it was never a process of hey there's a massive break let's just hire 20 people it's, it's, it sounds cool you hear that those stories from Facebook or Google or whatever but it's literally as I say <laughs> one out of a million cases step by step very small steps um, and and yeah if you focus on people's strengths then everybody wins in the process great stuff thanks so much for your time I appreciate it and your insights guys really practical information if you missed the previous videos of this interview go to our blog you'll find it under the media section starting a business in South Africa uh, I'll list the videos from video 1 to video number 5 and 6 uh, with Liam Stander. Check out our blog. Also check out the other, the other relevant content on starting a business. There's a few videos where I give some practical advice away. Uh, and contact us if you need anything. Great stuff. Thanks so much, Liam. Thanks, have man. A, have a, have a, good luck with the rest of your business. Let me rather say that. Respect. Thanks.